everybody, I'm sitting here with one of the co-founders of Big Bang Comics, if not the founder of Big Bang Comics. Co-creator, -cre co co-founder, yeah, with Chris Ecker. Okay, but everybody, this is Gary Carlson. How's it going today, Gary? It's going great. It's been a great show so far. A lot of people coming up, taking a look at all your work and everything? Yep, yep. Uh, we've got a pretty good fan base here. They they expect us here. I skipped last year and I've had a lot of people catching up, so. <laughs> well, now, what exactly got you involved in comics in the first place? Oh, I've, I've wanted to be a cartoonist ever since I was five, probably. I grew up reading comic books, reading the funny papers. I, I think I wanted to be a syndicated cartoonist first, but uh, it just evolved into comic books. I, I worked on com comic strips all th in my teens. I sent them off and was rejected and uh, went to college at Columbia College here in Chicago. And uh, as a cartoonist, uh, I won a scholarship, Fischetti, uh, the, the first Fischetti uh, scholarship at Columbia College for political cartooning. And while that was going on, uh, my partner Chris Ecker and I, we had, were sending out strips and almost sold a strip uh, to the Los Angeles Times Syndicate. When that fell through, we were kind of bummed and I started doing comic books. But it seems like you, but you always had that dream and you kept it going and you kept trying and you decided to modify that dream, put it into comics. And, and the comics that I see, it seems to have an almost an homage, uh, an honoring well, that's exactly, of the 60s. That's exactly what they are. Uh, we try to make them look and read like comics of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. The, a lot of the stuff that I grew up reading, um, when I started doing comics in the 80s, we were doing modern comics. Uh, by the early 90s, we were all a little bit tired out. Uh, Chris, a, a bunch of the guys, they got tired of hearing from the professionals, your work looks like old guys. So Chris said, I'm, that's it, I'm not going to do try to do new comics anymore, we're going to do old comics. And he did some sketches, uh, The Night Watchman, uh, kind of a Batman looking character, and, and I said, hey, that's, you know, we developed the whole mythology around The Night Watchman, and, and uh, had some other characters from Megaton, the book we did in the 80s, and said, we, you know, we're just going to do homages to all the great old characters, all the great old creators. Well, that's great. I mean, it's and and you you were gone for a while, actually. That's the reason why you weren't here last year. Yeah, it took about a year off. Uh, I just everybody got tired. Uh, we've all been knocking around, like I said, since about 1981. So. I was a little bit burned out, Chris is a little bit burned out, so we took took time off last year, um, and yeah, now we're back. We've got a lot of new stuff in production and actually getting the, uh, the artists to, to produce again, so uh, World Class Comics number one is going to come out probably the end of August from Image. Right. After that, uh, it'll either be Big Bang Quarterly or some sort of Big Bang Specials. Well, that's cool. Hey, specials are always good. But how did you guys get hooked up with Image Comics in the first place? Well, Eric Larson's uh, an old friend of mine. He was one of the artists back in my book, Megaton, from the 1980s. And he kind of dragged me back in comics. I, I worked, uh, by the end of the 80s, I dropped out of comics. Megaton helped bring about the black and white flood of books in the late 80s, and it, it was hard to sell the book. So I took some time off there. It, it, during the time I took off, some of the guys that I gave their start to in comics, Eric and Rob Liefeld, uh, had gotten big and formed Image Comics. And just as I was thinking about getting back in, Eric said, geez, if you're going to do this stuff, you might as well come and do it with me at Image. I did a book called Vanguard at Eric, uh, at Image with Eric, and a couple of other books. Uh, we started Big Bang over at Caliber Press. And Big Bang is Eric's favorite book. He, we did a couple issues there, and Eric said, geez, you ought to be doing it for us at Image. Uh, at Image, we were able to use some of Eric's retro characters, Mighty Man, and the initial idea was to be able to use Spawn. Uh, the second issue had the Shadowhawk in it. You know, we haven't done a lot of the Image characters, but, but that's how we ended up there. Jim Valentino, who is now the publisher, is a, a, another great big fan of ours. So, well, That's great. Well, I'm glad that we're, we're glad to see you back, Gary. I mean, seriously, Big Bang has been missed, and so have you. We're glad to have you on the show, and we wish you the greatest success for the rest of the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.
We'll be right back with another good interview, guys.